All right, this reading is for Pisces. Um, this is for the first decon, which is February 19th to the 29th. Remember, um, this is a collective reading. So one card that I will read might have four or five different messages that comes with it because I'm reading for a bigger group of people. It's not a personal reading, you know. I mean, they're more personal because I'm doing them by decon here, but um, it might get a little confusing. So just take what resonates with you and then leave the rest for who it's supposed to go to. Don't overthink it um, or try to make it work, okay? Um, if you don't get any messages that resonates this month, just check back next month and there might be a message for you there. Sometimes we don't get messages because we don't need them. We're on our path this month. Um, if you do want a personal reading, just message me and um, it's basically like this. All I need is your birth date and your name and I send you a video with your reading. But yeah, just message me. It's more of a descriptive reading. I use all of my cards. I use my stones, my bones, whatever I feel drawn to using. I use them during my readings. They're very um, descriptive, so. All right. Well, these two shout out. Well, you have a lot of messages so far. All right, so let's get started here. Your number for this month, considering the number of cards, is seven. So seven means spirituality is expanding. Um, it's a number of focusing on or prioritizing your spirituality learning about or incorporating new spiritual practices or on the road of the seeker. So continue to tap into that deep well of spiritual awareness that exists in all of us. Angels work well um, with all people of all faiths and spiritual beliefs. So you don't have to have a textbook belief or anything like that for angels and your ancestors and your higher power to guide you and be here for you. You don't even have to believe in anything and they're still going to be there for you. That's how it works. <laughs> All right, give me one second here. So we have 10 of pentacles in reverse, um, which can basically mean like foreclosures. Um, there could be a lot of family conflicts right now. Um, you're feeling lonely. Uh, kind of... You don't have anything set back for the future. You don't have any, you have a lack of planning right now, okay? Um, you're not feeling yourself. Um, a lot of things are going on for you. Um, obviously, money issues, um, family issues, um, which results in lack of planning because you might be possibly getting a slight depression from all of this. Um, and what I want to say to that is, uh, it's a, this is a reminder, okay, um, that your guides and the things that are being removed from your path or the things that are stressful right now, they're reconstructing and reconfiguring your path for you. Um, a thing I want to say is rejection is protection, okay? Um, if you, there's things you applied for that you're not getting right now, it's because you're not supposed to be getting them. They're not a part of your path. Either way, whatever is going on right now, you're going to be transforming and evolving from the experience. So it's a reminder for that, okay? Um, if there's foreclosures, it's because there's something better, another better home for you. Family conflicts, maybe there needs to be something rebuilt in your family, um, Maybe you need this loneliness because you need to have some solitude time for yourself and reflect on some issues that you might be projecting onto other people, perhaps family. Um, maybe there's nothing set back for the future because you didn't have time to even think about the future. You're living in the now and um, it's very fast paced. So it's 
we really don't have time to reflect and set plans and this is the time that you need to need to kind of reflect on why all of this is going on see the lessons see things you're very intuitive Pisces you know things when things don't serve you okay and you know when you need to sacrifice them but there's things that you attach to and love them so much that it's hard to let go of because we're very emotionally driven signs so keep that in mind okay just because we're born that way it's our nature does not mean that we can't change that we need a balance of emotions and analytical thinking and that's when you can balance a Pisces one fish goes up one goes down right sometimes it's up here but to keep the balance in the middle that's what we have to balance especially our emotions um, your next card is let me see here six of wands which represents um, a victory award um, a recognition good news and success so you have things coming here very good things coming this is a reminder that um, there's going to be a recognition of all the hard work you're doing you are trying you might not be planning for the future much but you're working hard in the now okay so there's going to be good news coming perhaps somebody applied for a new job or somebody applied for a different house because of this foreclosure or um, this loneliness if you're single and you know you don't have family conflicts because you don't have your own family yet or um, there was a split in the past so you're still single from it um, this could represent that there is a recognition with somebody somebody has their eye on you um, which is good news okay all right give me one second we have four of cups in reverse um, which represents <laughs> A new outlook or di direction um, a new option okay I'm gonna go back to oops sorry my little heart rock here just decided to come flying out while I was saying this by the way a new option is coming in love for a lot of you um, it's going to be coming right when you Ex don't expect it <laughs> it's gonna come out of left field basically and why I say that because um, you know obviously this is reversed but when it's not there's this cloud with this cup and this person's looking down at these other cups focusing on all those issues and problems that he's having and he's like oh my god and then this nice little shiny new thing is coming here as my heart rock flies out um, so this is going to give you a new outlook or direction, all right? Um, you are going to start planning for the future. You are going to start knowing that, you know, there's going to be a good future for you and you deserve it. Um, you're going to have a new positive outlook on things. Um, all these problems you're having right now or perhaps for some of you in the past are not going to be as problematic you're gonna be able to see the lessons in them see why all these things have been leaving you um, haven't been going well because they weren't made to be on your path and this new shiny thing it could be a job all right it doesn't have to be a love um, I just think for some of you it is but it could be a new option as in a new job or um, a new home any of that okay this thing is gonna come back in and it's going to give you a fresh breath of air basically okay all right so your next card is four of pentacles and what that represents is um it could represent like a greed type thing or like a desire for long-term security um financial stability possessiveness so let me explain this here so the greed and possessiveness this could be some of you um this loneliness that you've been feeling kind of made you get used to being lonely so um you kind of just keep even your feelings your money to yourself because you know you did that before and you know someone took advantage of it or it didn't work out so now you're just kind of being possessive to all the things you've been working hard for um this could be your feelings your emotions your heart as well okay this goes for everybody um in different situations so you're just kind of not letting yourself be open to a certain aspect of something in your life here, okay? And um, 
this is a good sign here because it says long-term security and financial stability. So your finances and everything is going to be getting better. Um, you're going to see this lack of planning. You're going to kind of have like an awakening to it. Like, oh man, I really need to start looking towards my future. I need to stop living in the right now. And I need to start looking towards the future here and start taking care of my shit. Um, so this family conflicts, if you're with you know, you're married or whatever and there's family conflicts and stuff, you're going to start thinking like that. Uh, maybe that was a major conflict. You were just living in the now and not thinking for your family's future, which happens when we have a busy life, okay? So you're not a bad person for doing that. It just slips our minds. Sometimes we all have common sense and people will say something and you're like, why didn't I think about that? That's such a common sense thing to think about, but you're so busy thinking about other things. It's completely normal and understandable. And you'll find that balance. And like it says, um, there's going to be security and financial stability coming. You're going to fix all of this. Everything's getting better. So a lot of you, you know, a new love's coming in, a new job, um, financial stability's coming. You're going to fix all of it. Um, your next card is the Nine of Cups, which represents wishes coming true, uh, material abundance, good health, comfort, and satisfaction. Same thing. All your wishes are coming true, man. Everything's going to be getting better, especially by the end of the month for a lot of you. Um, by the end of the month, you're going to start seeing these wishes. You're going to start seeing a light at the end of the tunnel. Like, I can do this. I can get myself out of this hole. You know, I can get myself back out of the dark. Um, which is going to make you feel like a very independent person. So when this new thing comes or this new person for some of you, make sure um, you still stay open to it and you're not closing it off because you can't get that one nice, bright and shiny gift if you're not open to it. Um, either way, it's going to come. So if you're not open to it, you know, you might mess it up. <laughs> so just remember that, okay? Um Anyways, there's going to be extreme satisfaction, like I said, material abundance, money. You're going to get everything right. Your health is going to be right. Possibly new love is going to be coming in. You're going to have, it's going to be a comforting, familiar love for most of you. Um, like you've known them and possibly for some of you, you have known them and they just come out of left field with this offer and things start to get brighter and you're like, huh. Is this person a good luck charm? <laughs> Anyways, um, your next card is the Ace of Cups. And it is in reverse. So that means being let down, um, feeling depressed and disappointed. Remember, ironically, rejection is protection. Okay. So being let down, feeling depressed. And it comes after this Nine of Cups, right? Your wishes are coming true and everything. Um, don't let your past letdowns and your past depression come back up to ruin these wishes here. Like I kind of already said that, you know, don't let that come creeping back up. Okay. Um, that goes for some of you. Um, and for some of you too, there is going to be a couple different options coming to you. Um, job, love, whichever. And there is going to be a choice that you're going to have to make. And, um, one is going to be, okay, job or love. One is going to seem perfect. It's going to be a smarter idea, okay? And the other one is going to feel familiar to you, but you don't know the um, information about that option very well. So out of habit, you're not going to pick that one and you're going to pick the other one perhaps just for stability um, and a fear of trying something new and you might be let down by that option. So stay open, like I said. Um, and remember, you know, with this foreclosure and everything, that rejection is protection when things are not, don't bring that back up. Remember, let it go. Okay, I wasn't supposed to have that because it wasn't going to be a part of my life originally. It was just something I was going to have to learn from in some way or another. All right, give me one second. So we have nine of swords in reverse for the next one, and that represents 
hope, gratefully, it is in reverse. <laughs> so it represents rest, um, recovery, healing, relief from extreme torment. So like I said, um, throughout the whole reading, there is a lot of good things coming. You're going to be able to rest now. Not everything's going to be fast paced. Um, you're going to be able to recover from the past few months that have probably been extreme torment. Um, I feel like it's been three to six months that has been very extreme. You're going to start healing from it all. Um, if not, this is your guides telling you that you need to work on healing from past experiences. Okay. Um, you need to rest from it. You need to realize, like I said, rejection is protection. You need to realize they weren't on your path for a reason. Um, spirituality is expanding, right? Number seven. Sometimes just having faith that things are falling away from you because you're being protected. Um, have faith that you have spiritual guidance around you, whether you believe it or not. Have faith that everything's going to hit home. Everything's going to get better because it is. It is, you know, um, going to have new love, new job, new options. Um, going to have choices and options again. Your money's going to get back up. Everything's going to start being brighter and shinier. You're going to start having more of a positive outlook on things. This depression that you've been feeling the past few months is going to get better. Um, something, someone might come in and show you a different positive outlook on things as well. And um, be grateful for that and remember the words that they said and keep that with you when you start going back to the path or the past again because you're so used to feeling sad and depressed because you have been for so long. Remember that that's not who you are or what you're supposed to feel, you know, because good things are happening and you deserve better. So I feel like this new thing is definitely going to be giving you more of a positive outlook on life, period. Okay, we have three cards here. Also, three um, represents prayers answered, okay? The universe knows what you want and what you are working towards. Um, you're being brought those opportunities and resources. <laughs> this is an invite to go forward fearlessly and know that the universe and your spiritual guidance squad has your back, okay? Palm mystery, fortune and tarot, collective destiny. The palm lines from birth tell your sacred palm mystery. Listen to the notes of intuition. So that's basically what it means. Listen to your intuition. Um, like I said, Pisces have, we are the masters of intuition, but with our emotional driven behavior, we do not follow it a lot because we like to use our heart instead of that first gut feeling sometimes, okay? And we kind of make excuses for things that we know better about, right? So listen to your intuition. You have a lot of gifts fortune and tarot collective okay um there's things you already feel something new coming you don't feel you like you deserve it so then you tell yourself it's not coming i don't deserve that i'm not gonna get it nothing i never get it what i want you know what that that mentality you know um listen to your in intuition and trust it and the more you do that you're going to have more of a better confidence in yourself and your decisions your next one is anthony's call in thanks of my spirit, safe and sound, all things are lost that are lost, so can be found. So this goes again with um, the depression thing and stuff that you're feeling. Um, there's also a confusion overload <laughs> right now, thinking too much and stuff. Um, in thanks of my spirit, like I said, uh, your spirituality is expanding. Have faith that they are answering your prayers and things that are lost within you, your inner, your inner confidence and stuff like that, your finances, they are all going to be found. You're going to find yourself again and realize who you are. Okay. A cure for longing. Love is happiness. A spark inside. Live deliberately and choose boldly. Then you have arrived. Ironically, this goes for some with this love situation here. Um, this whole, the um, family conflicts and stuff, remember, love, okay? You were created by 
someone and someone else that was in love. You were created by pure love. Okay. The whole world was created by love. So don't lose that part of you because somebody disappointed you in a love situation before. And there is somebody coming with a cup of love for you. And they're going to have that spark inside you light back up again. And I did say some of you are going to have choices. Okay. And um, choose boldly. It says you already know. Follow your intuition. Okay. The things within you. Your... your you that was lost for the past three, six months are going to be coming back when you start following your intuition. And when you have those choices coming to you, you're going to choose correctly and boldly. And remember that you don't need to ask people for advice because they're only going to persuade your decision. And you need to work on your own intuition. So if you make that decision, whether it's wrong or right, you're still going to be like, damn, I should have picked the first thing that I thought because that would have been right lesson learned if you pick right you're like I'm a badass <laughs> my intuition's on point all right so things are getting really good everything's going to be getting a lot better especially by the end of this month okay